Ring the Bell TV. It's your boy Dan the Man. Are we ever going to see Terence Crawford and Errol Spence step into that ring in their prime? I highly doubt it. If you go back to one of my previous videos that I've done on these two, I said it. I said, we're not going to see Errol Spence and Terence Crawford get in a ring in their prime. We're going to see the fight when they've passed their prime. I mean, that's where we are in boxing nowadays. Certain fighters just don't want to fight certain fighters. Or let me rephrase that. C certain fighters, handlers, don't want to put their guys in there with certain fighters. If they see a real risk of their fighter losing. We don't really get no 50-50 fights in boxing normal. Where you genuinely don't know who's going to win. It's a rarity in boxing now. When MMA you get these fights all the time. That's what makes it so exciting. I mean, boxing just shoots itself in the foot. Like, taking the fans for idiots sometimes. For granted. Feeding us fights we don't want to see. And making excuses for not giving us the fights we want to see. It's beggar's belief. I mean... <laughs> Mayweather really, he done a lot of good for the sport, but he also messed up a lot of the the ideologies of fighters that, oh, has become so important. When he used to be, it's not the form of the defeat, but how a man gets back from defeat. Now people don't even want to hear the word. <laughs> it's like that O has become so precious to the point where someone, certain fighters don't really want to test themselves. They rather go through their career fighting guys they know they can beat just to keep their O. When boxing really, you, a guy loses and you get behind them, it's the comeback that makes it more exciting. And it used to be like that. You lose and you get back and you get your you get your revenge. And that used to be what made certain boxers in the past that we loved. I mean, if this was back in the days, Terence Crawford and Errol Spence would have maybe had a trilogy by now. But we can't even make that first. Not a lot of people say it's the networks. The da, 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 da. But if it makes financial sense, these fights would happen. It don't matter if they're in on different networks and this guy and that manager and that promoter don't get on. No. Promoters never have, haven't always got on even in the past. But if it made business sense, and is what the, it was what the fans wanted to see. They made it happen. People act like people promoters not getting on on these different networks. It's a it's a new thing. Nah, it's not a new thing. But there was always given boxers wanted to test themselves first and foremost, and they were always wanting to give the fans what they want to see. It's not like that no more. The, the, the O has become so precious. People just don't want to have a loss on their record. Which is silly. You're in a fighting game. You lose some, you win some. But you get back up. I know sometimes people say, oh, they're not scared. People are not... Yeah, but there's a there's a form of there's there's still a sense of I don't think they're scared like 
Errol Spence is uh, is scared of Crawford and Crawford is scared of no, but they have uh, they it's it's like <laughs> losing the the that O on their record is it's almost like it's becoming a phobia for certain fighters. They rack up these wins and it's like I don't want to take a loss. And if they see that this guy is a genuine threat to my record, yeah, I don't really fancy having that fight. We gotta be honest. We've got uh, 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 Terence Crawford come out and say it's Errol Spence's camp. That's reason the reason we're not getting this fight. We, and Errol Spence's camp come back, so it just gets into this. One camp accusing the other of being the reason the fight's not happening. And they just, it's, yeah. But then if it's a fight that they're, they're yeah, they're, it's so easy to make other fights. If they, I don't get it, guys. I really just think it's, uh, it's almost like a marketing point now. The guy hasn't lost. He ain't got no, oh, I mean, he ain't got no... He, yeah. Somebody's old must go sometimes. You get what I'm saying? I think... If... T- uh, listen. There's a lot of capping in boxing nowadays, man. There's a lot of bullshit. From the promoters. From the fighters themselves. I don't even want to blame the networks too tough, you know. Because if the promoters and the fighters want it to happen, it will happen. Yes, I get the uh, the business side where, you know, where whatever network the fighters on, they want it on there. But all that can get negotiated because it's happened in the past. When so I, I don't really want to, yeah, the way they give it to it now. It's down to the promoters and the actual fighters themselves if these fights are not happening. So I don't want to hear this camp's excuse and that camp's excuse. If you both can't make it happen, I blame the whole of you. And I think it's about time us as fans start putting pressure on these promoters and these fighters. We need to stop buying what they're selling. If they're giving us a bullshit fight, we'll call it out and hit them where it hurts. I know I shouldn't be saying this because... Um, look, I got into this game because I love the sport of boxing. And I want to see boxers eat. You know, it's a hard game. I want to see boxers eat. I'm not really trying to take food out from their plate. But if they're not going to be respecting us as fans, the people who put money in their pocket, then we've got to hit them where it hurts. And the only way we can do that is to affect, yeah, not support the bullshit. Like I said, man, boxing just shoots itself in the foot by not respecting the fans. You look at the UFC, man. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you guys think we're gonna see Errol Spence and Terence Crawford get into the get in that ring before they pass their prime? Leave your comments. Uh, down below and uh, yeah let's talk about it anyway it's been your boy Dunderman ring the bell TV like subscribe share all that good stuff you know my thing salute